when I am talking about overtraining, I'm not talking about overtraining the muscles itself. I'm talking about overtraining the central nervous system or overtraining of the mind. Overtraining is something I've done quite a number of times. I overtrained many times years ago when I was in school. I actually was uh, lifting quite often following typical bodybuilding programs that we hear in magazines or that we hear from other bodybuilders. Overtraining the nervous system is a combination of too many training sessions, too much heavy lifting, not enough recovery, and a lot of other stresses in your life. So if you think you can train uh, six days a week by splitting your muscle groups one day at a time, you also have to consider that if, even though you were working out that way and you're thinking you're going to get good results, you're going to wear yourself out even if the muscles are fine because you're still stressing out the same nervous system or your only nervous system you have. One of the reasons why I like full body workouts and I think most people should be doing them is because the muscles can recover much faster than the mind. The muscles can adapt to frequent training. The central nervous system can also adapt to uh, frequent training, but it also does take a lot longer to recover. So I I made the mistake of overtraining a lot myself. I'm not as concerned about waking up with sore muscles. My biggest problem that I find with overtraining is I have a hard time getting up from bed. That it takes me... Uh, a lot longer to do something when I get up. So if I find myself waking up and it's taking me forever to do my daily activities um, from waking up and it feels like I don't want to do anything even if my muscles are fine then I know I'm mentally overtrained. And that's actually the bigger problem than muscular overtraining. When you are overtrained mentally your hormones will automatically change with it. And when your hormones change, how you think will change as well. It will be a decrease in testosterone, growth hormone, and an increase in cortisol, and an increase in insulin resistance. When your hormonal profile changes that way, there will be a bunch of symptoms like depression, irritability, lack of focus, no energy, no motivation, 